What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and we're back on episode 4 of the Hitchhiker's Guide to Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, so uh, we are where we left off in the last episode. Um, so right now, uh, the only things I did off camera was actually go to the arena and get some fight scene. And yes, I remember, I remember I told you guys to save as many tokens as you can, and I actually did. But, if you guys look at your bank, I actually had a couple of those uh, sacks of tokens, they're about to expire. Like this one expires in 4 hours and 29 minutes. I had about 3 of them, they're about to expire, so I used them up. That's something you guys have to keep control. Uh, for example, this energy, even if I don't, I don't need to use, when I reach about si in six days from now, I need to pick it up or it's gone forever. Alright, so just a couple of things to keep in mind uh, when you play the game. So, alright, let's see where we're at. Also with that, a complete challenge. I made a point... So you guys can follow better not to actually complete any missions because the main thing for us right now is try to get the arbor as fast as we can or try to get at least as far as we can okay so tournaments because of all those fights i actually got to first place right now so still three hours to go and i don't think in the most while well record this video we're going to be completing a lot of stuff uh anybody can catch me so it will allow us to get one ancient chord extra what is really good okay but i did not use any resources i didn't need to everything i did was with progression and that's what helped me to get there all right so oh one more thing market i did open the market two levels now so i use 50 gems in here as you guys can see now, I'm right under uh, the 800 mark because uh, an ancient chart actually popped up in here. So, like I told you guys, that's when I start opening. If one pops up in here or on any of those fours, they're still closed, I would probably go down and open it. All right, so let's see where we, we stopped. Clear stage 5 or higher of the Ice Golem Speak 10 times on Auto. Normal hard, definitely not hard. Alright, 10 times on Auto, clear stage 5 or higher. So, I believe the last time we stopped... I'm not sure I can go 7, let's try one time. Let's Don't forget to take down Super Raids, because if you lose, you just wait, wasted extra energy. This should be fine. I will actually take this guy out because right now he's food. Uh, actually, why don't why don't we go in here? Come to the tavern. He'll become food very very soon. Uh, so let's go upgrade rank. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Get this guy a little upgraded. Boom. Let's see if we have anybody else. Not yet. Sounds great. Battle, dungeons, ice golems. Also, there's another thing. Because I have to clear 10 times? Jesus. Okay, let's go back. It happens. Yes, 10 times on auto. So, because of that, You do not want to use more than you need. Besides, it, it, sure, you may want to try to get some gear, then go ahead, put on super raids. But if we're trying to see if we can actually clear with those guys in a higher level we haven't cleared yet, it's good to just keep it off for now. All right, let's go. <coughs> All right, guys, so I... I had to run on stage 6 of the Ice Golems, uh, try to go stage 7, but opposite affinity of my damage dealers, it wasn't enough for me to pass. So, 
A couple of things. Not too bad. Some gear. I'm not touching this gear right now. Uh, and you guys shouldn't because honestly, it's better just to get a couple more pieces of gear before you actually fully commit to it. And it's mostly because silver is very hard to come by. So you need to save up as much as you can for as long as you can. Sure, you may get a point that you're not leveling, then you do have to apply that on equipment, even if it's not what you actually want to put on. Anywho, all right, let's see. Bastion. Dungeon mission complete. Next one, upgrade the any artifacts, level 16. See, another reason why you have, you have to save sometimes uh, your equipment. This one, yes, attack. I would rather that to be crit rate. But, it is what it is. Upgrade to level 16. Let's get those two pieces of gear to 16. Alright guys, so, not enough silver even to upgrade one piece. Uh, yes, I knew it was probably a bad idea to go 5 star because it costs a lot more. But, you guys gotta remember, we have some places where we can get some silver without using our jams. And, let's see. I gotta filter my equipment, basically the bottom types, and I'm gonna be looking to sell, well, not right now, actually. I'm gonna look at everything that primary stats are HP, flat HP, flat attack, flat defense, and resistance. Sell, collect all, not that much, only 183, but still more than we had. So let me try to get this piece of gear up, at least one, and then we go to the next place where we can get some more silver. Alright, still not enough. So you're probably wondering where can you get more silver? Well. Let me show you. If you guys remember Call of the Arbiter, by watching those videos, you get 50k per. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, a little over 500 more. And we still have a couple from here. So 783, it should be enough. Let's hope Clarion sometimes makes it not enough. Alright guys, so finally got it. I could get this, I'm gonna still hold on, because 200 energy. A little bit of silver, if I need I can always come in here. But, the most important, two artifacts level 16. Earn three stars on stage 7 of Carrick Castle. I believe that's the only one that it, I'm missing. Another mission done. Next, win 25 lesser arcane potions for level 5 or higher of the arcane keep. Now keep in mind, the higher you go, the more chance to, uh, the more you're probably gonna get. So let's see how far we can go with them. All right, guys, so got all the requirements. Now, I was able to go all the way to stage 10, no, nine. But the problem is nine was the 100% uh, win rate. So I came down to eight. Yes, if you guys see, there's a big difference between, you know, spending eight energy and spend 10. But the difference is in here, I was actually able to get like five pots of energy. What is a lot better than what I was getting below it around 3 to 2. So, let's complete this mission. <laughs> Clear stage 7 of sewers of Armaka Heart, already complete. Clear stage 5 or higher of Dragon Slayer, 10 times on auto. Normal hard. Piece of cake, guys. And that's where we get some of the best gear we can get. Uh, 
around this level, right? Alright guys, 10 fights done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not looking at equipment right now. So let's just close this fight. Oh, good shot, more energy. So... Yeah, let me get this small pack. Uh, everything goes to... Here, anyway. So, alright. Earn 3 stars on stage 7 of Sewers of Amacon Hard. So, that is stage 7. Alright. That should be fine. Alright, another mission done and we're eating through those missions. Now, that's just being too easy. Now, again, that's one of the ones that usually take a little bit of time. 25 lesser magic potions. Let's see how far we can go. Always see how far you can get to. That's the most important thing because the higher you are, the more potions usually you get. Alright, so I'm stuck on level 7. Level 8 is too hard for me because of the buffs the boss is getting. So, since Armiger is not doing much because he's opposite affinity, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a team and I'm gonna take him out. Now, Warpress is still pretty decent, still holding up herself, mostly because she's very, very tanky. So I'm gonna take him out and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna put her basically because she's one of the champions I'm gonna have to level to be able to do the fusion. All right, finally. That took a while. Usually it does on the keeps. And just running through this. All right, clear stage five or higher of the Minotaur Labyrinth 10 times on auto. So if you guys are stuck in the most because there was a reach three bronze on Classic Arena, you just stop going there, get three bronze, come back here. All right, so another mission complete. Now, one thing I realized, so I made one mistake and it was that I should have actually gotten Kyle all his masteries with the gems prior to run this because unlock three tire two masters for two champions that's what I'm talking about so if I had done that all the scrolls from the Minotaur it would have gone to Ninja and none to Kyle uh, I may still have enough but let's check. So, Ninja Masteries. Okay, I can unlock not often. All right, so, now just so you guys know, and I'll leave, leave a link below. What I usually do, if I don't want to think much about it, I usually go to hellhades.com and just check it out the uh what's the best masteries for what i how i want to use this champion so in this case i'm gonna put him for a standard pve so i would be going king strike and heart of glory right now so i still gonna need 30 more actually 35 more uh, 33 more scrolls uh so right now going to kale kale i will be getting all the scrolls right now but instead of general pv i gotta go for a clan boss so get all scrolls 800 bananas all right pretty much same thing uh ninja him will be Pretty much the same. Just come down this line. And I need rank 5 for this. I already have the scrolls, that's fine. Alright. So now let's get Ninja uh, the rest of his scrolls. So he needs 32 more. And I'll be back right after that. Okay. So this mission should be complete. And just so a reminder, before you run that mission, the prior one, 
make sure before you run the prior mission to actually use 800 gems to unlock all the masters for your main that will help you not have to run this mission like I did again, uh, on Minotaur and use your resources all right so we're in three stars on stage seven let's go all right mission done what's next win a total of four five or six star artifacts from stage five or higher of the ice golem see that's why you don't need to be running uh, a lot of the dungeons prior to it just get equipment because those missions will actually do that for you now yes i did a couple of videos back but that was just so i could clear dungeons but in general try to avoid if you can all right let's go now in this case i will actually turn on super raids so I don't have to go, you know, run multiple times. Woof! Alright, that took a lot of more energy than I thought. Because basically, I was getting three stars equipment the whole time. But, this being done, next one, get two rank five champions. Okay, let's see where we are right now. I do have a uh, four-star chicken, so what I need to do is level a couple of those guys all the way to three-star, would gonna be a little hard. Alright, so let's take a look at what we have right now. So basically, uh, my rule of thumb of how to get energy. If I need some, like right now, I'm about to, I will go for full energies, not the pots. Because basically it's 200, doesn't matter if I'm level 20 or if I'm level 100. But, as of right now, I don't actually need to use any of that. I still have 217. Alright guys, so, we have the energy we can we have uh, we have a couple of the, in the bank right now so next step since I need to get one more to five star and that's gonna be Kyle where I gonna go to go is to hard and keep completing as much as I can on those missions so pretty much uh, instead of trying to five uh, three star everything I gotta throw a couple of foods, but instead of using those as of right now, I gonna use those three first. Basically, because I do have a challenge to actually use those guys, right? So this will be done off camera. Uh, basically, what you guys have to do is. Go using all your two stars. Those gonna need to be turned into three stars. And then after that, just use everything you can as chicken. And go leveling this. And we're gonna keep on going tomorrow. Alright? I hope it sounds good for you guys. Anyway, I thank you very much. If you guys got to this point of the video. And as always, I'll see you in the game.